Hello and today we'll learn about how we can render wireframes inside of Arnold in 3ds Max. So this is a model and uh, you can see that uh, here's the wireframe and I'll just delete this right here. And uh, this is the model that you can see that the wireframe it has. And if I want to render it out in uh, Arnold, what I'll do is I'll go to Material Editor and uh, just uh, go to the material that's applied to this model and if you don't have you can just uh, uh, drag and apply it uh, to the model and if you and we'll search here for a node which is also inside Arnold uh, like right here in maps Arnold you scroll down you go to utility and you you will get a wireframe or you can just search it out there now we just drag it out now wireframes has a few parameters that we'll look uh, at it later and you can drag it to any node uh, that you want to uh, render it in and if you want it to render in with the texture I'll just connect it to the base which is the base amount a uh, base color amount so what this will do is it will create a triangular render now I'm not going to render it out but I have rendered it before and it will look something like this if you render it out right now so it will look like this now this is not an ideal wireframe you want it to be in quads as was the model so there's an option here called edge type and we'll set that to polygons and even if we do that uh, the model still in triangles and this is a bug inside of 3ds max so you can't help that but let's just have it set to polygons right now uh, the wireframe node we'll exit out of the method editor uh, go, go to the model add another property uh, or modifier called Arnold properties on top of it and enable subdivision now if I render it now it will render with one iteration of subdivision added to the model which we don't want so we'll just disable it or make it zero I mean not disable it it's still enabled but we'll uh, select it to zero and then uh, if you render it right now it will look something like this as you can see it's a very good wireframe result now you can obviously apply the wireframe node to any other uh, thing like specular or diffuse or base color and uh, you can render it out without the texture. So let's just see at some of the uh, some of the node properties here. So obviously the edge type polygon which does not really work. Fill color is the color of the faces of uh, the model that you are going to render it on. And line color is obviously the color of the edge. And uh, line width is in pixels. So this is one pixel of line width and raster space is enabled that means that the one pixel will be one pixel of your resolution or, or your screen space and uh, what does that mean is that uh, that will be one pixel that is being displayed on your monitor or is being uh, rendered out so I had this rendered out in uh, I think uh, three or something uh, on a screen space now if you do that it, if you in, uh, untick this this will uh, set it to wall space uh, a wall space line width and that will uh, that's actually uh, uh, kind of like how wall space normal works so it will uh, read those pixels uh, in uh, world space and you will get like different uh, line width across the model depending on your uv layout so thank you for watching and take care